So today, we're going to be in town. Uh, the small field here, it's just a couple acres and surrounded by houses and an industrial complex. But over the years, we've done really well in here, especially my friend Jim, who's uh, hunting in, down by the wood line, and I'll show you him in a minute. Uh, but he's found a lot of stuff here, you know, like you know, Connecticut buttons, a lot of 69 caliber bullets and whatnot. So we're going to give it a shot today here. I'm using a different machine. This machine doesn't have a meter on it, so I'll let you listen to what it sounds like. This is the detector I'm using today. It's a mine lab, the uh, GPX, and I've done really well with it. I mean, I haven't used it a whole lot, but um, I am learning, and, and it does dig deep. And there's Jim down there. He's got his fancy white headphones on. This cat, <laughs> this cat chewed up his good headphones, so he had to buy those on the way to the field today. Okay, so this is what I have so far. I have two 69 caliber mini balls from the Civil War and a piece of melted lead. These things are gigantic. Uh, they weigh an ounce a piece. Yeah, nice big bullets, and they're both really deep. This camp we've hunted a lot in the past. There's not too many signals left with, with this new machine here. I'm able to go down pretty deep, so I'm hoping I'm going to find some more of these. But we'll just go along slowly. You have to move this loop pretty slow. You can't go fast. We'll listen for repeatable signals. There's something there. This detector is a pulse detector, so you can't really pinpoint very easily, but there's definitely something here. I don't think it's a nail. It's either fairly deep or a shallower piece of uh, lead, like maybe a piece of buckshot. It sounds kind of like Nelson on the uh, Simpsons going, hey, hey. Stick it up. have to dig a slightly bigger hole than normal because uh, this is pulse. Yeah, see it's out of the hole so it's small. There's probably a piece of buckshot. What I'll do is break it up and spread it out a little bit more, make it easier to find. There it is right there, so let's see what we got. There it is, I can see it right there. It's a little piece of white, it's a piece of buckshot. These would have been loaded with a 69 caliber musket ball. So you'd have one big heavy bullet and then three of these would come out with it like a shotgun. So that's exactly what that is. This is a nice little signal here. See if I can get back over it. A little bit of that going on again. But yeah, so that's a nice deep signal. Let's check it out. Ah, uh, that's a bullet. Hear that? Nice, smooth signal. That's a beautiful signal right there. There she is right there. Look at that. Yeah, another nice big 69er. Very nice. Isn't that sweet? These things are monsters. Excellent. So don't forget to always fill your holes in. Stomp them down good. No fuss, no muss. Here's a gigantic signal here. What I do is I lift the loop up in the air a little bit since it's so big to get a better feel for exactly where it is. See, it sounds pretty good, but then it has that little dead spot in there too. And I don't think that's an overload. I think it's probably a weird piece of iron. Hopefully that got it. See? Sounds good going into it, but it kind of nulls out and then it has that uh, broken signal. That's definitely iron. Let's see what it is. Yeah, it's just a piece of fence wire. Oh well, can't win them all. That's good right there. It's quiet, so it's deep, but it's solid. It has that little bit of a tail to it. Again, I'm going to have to dig a bigger hole than normal because this is a, a pulse machine. It's different than the average metal detector. You can't really pinpoint well. Plus, it goes really deep, so a little bigger hole than normal. Sorry. I suspect it would be in that last bit of dirt I took out. The deepest dirt. 
And I was right, yay. Here, nice signal. That doesn't look good right there, though. That's a piece of, uh, hmm. No, that's not it. So it's right in here. Should be real easy to find. Yep, truck gun shell. It was a nice deep truck gun shell. That could have been a button easily enough. It's another nice big signal right here. It's almost too good though. Hear it? That's a really good signal. It's fairly shallow, so I don't have high hopes for it because you know we would have found that years ago probably with the VLFs. I see this piece of can or a piece of pie plate. It's aluminum. Somebody could have dug that before and just pitched it on top of the ground. I'll definitely carry it out though. It's not a bad little signal here. It's definitely not iron. Nice smooth signal. Find out what it is. Hopefully it's in here. That's a good sign. That means it's deeper. Oh, yeah. Listen to that, baby. That yeah, could be a bullet. Let's hope it's something Civil War, at least. I have to dig it fairly deep. Hmm, what is that? You can see that, some green right there. Right there, so that could be a button or a coin. Uh, let's see. It's a button. Or a coin. <laughs> I can't tell what it is. It's too big for a uh, penny, obviously. Probably a nickel, so that means post-war. I'm assuming. Alright. Yeah, we'll clean it up later. This one doesn't sound too bad either. It's fairly small, it's not very deep though. It's right underneath that piece of grass. Yep, it's right in here. see silver that's a silver coin right there it's small might be a half dime I reckon what do you think shall we look yeah let's look it's a little half dime little guy it's really worn though the front's pretty you can kind of see what's there I guess We'll clean it up a little bit better uh, later. Yeah, that's silver though, that's cool. Okay, another nice deep signal here. I just dug the half dime a couple of seconds ago, so can't tell what it is, but right in here is that little eh -eh sound. It's deep. You'll notice what I'm doing when I dig these holes. I have two separate piles. The first pile I'll put up over there, and the second deeper uh, dirt I'll put somewhere else. And that way I can tell how deep the target was for sure. If I just threw it all together, you might not be able to tell. So, see, I know it wasn't shallow already. Or was it? I bet it's right here. Bet... Yeah, there it is over there. Something very small. Let's see what she is. Another little buckshot. These things will definitely fool you. They sound deep, but they're not. Okay, I'm liking this signal right here. Um, 
not real deep, but it sounds good. It's not so shallow that it was probably, you know, tossed back by a digger a few years ago. That could be a bullet right there. It's probably down about eight inches, I think. Again, I put it in two separate piles so I know the depth of the target, depending on which pile it's in. That's the deep stuff there, so it wasn't there, or not too deep. But it has that bullet ring to it, so I'm hopeful. Oh yeah, look at that. Here we, whoops. This is kind of neat. This here is a fired sharps. So they actually did fight in this area, but this is a Civil War bullet, this is a carbine bullet. This is an interesting little signal right here. You can barely hear it, so it's really deep, whatever it is. But these are these are good signals to investigate. But let's try to see if you can hear it this way. If you can kind of hear the threshold, making some noise because of all the high tension lines around here. But but listen when I go over that little clump of grass right there. Just barely can hear it. Something really deep right there. Small though, like maybe bullet size or something like that. Not like a giant piece of iron or something, so let's see what that thing is. All right, yay. That sounds like a bullet. I Man, that thing was deep though, huh? All right. Right in there, you see it? Right. Yeah, right there. There it is, right there. Woo wee! That was a deep one. Nice. We go 69er. See the end of it there? That means it's been pulled, so it wasn't fired. They had to unload the musket for some reason. That's how they pulled it out. Yeah, it was a nice deep hole there. I'll pack it down good, putting it away have another deep signal here so it's nice and deep and that makes me excited because everything I've dug that's been good has been at least fairly deep and I'm pretty close to where that half time came from so now at the plow line there so we should have gotten that I think it's over there probably yeah I can actually see it from here Bullet. Man, those things are monsters. I didn't hit this one. <laughs> that's old damage right there, but uh, yeah, that's a beauty, huh? Look how big that thing is. Sweet. Yeah, so I got 69 right there, and got another signal here. But I like the sound of it. it doesn't sound like tin foil. I think I should have gotten it. And of course not. That's a weird signal though. It's not lead. Hopefully it's a button. There's brass right there. Oh, what do you think? This is the second one of these I found today. First one I found I thought was an earring. I'm not convinced that's not what that is. Eh, I don't know. It's a pretty chintzy earring, if that's what it is. That's the second one for today, though. There's another nice deep signal here. Let's see what that is. I reckon it's in this pile here. Yeah, for sure. Spread it out a little bit so we can find it. Ah, knapsack hook. What we call a jet. That's, that's definitely Civil War. That goes uh, that goes on the knapsack uh, rig. 
little knapsack hook. Very cool. It's a neat little doohickey I just found. I believe it's a uh, watch winder, you think? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what that is. All right, just got a decent signal there and dug it. And I, of course, didn't film it because I'm late getting lazy, but I think I got another coin. Look right there. That looks like a large scent, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, wouldn't it be neat if it was an ID disc? I think it's a large scent, though. Yeah. You can see the wreath on the back. That's part of the wreath right there. It's toasted for sure, but that's a large scent. You can see the head there. Sorry I didn't get it coming out of the ground, but there she is anyway. All right, just a large scent right there, and I took a step, and I got another decent signal over here. Doesn't sound real deep, but since it's so close to that large scent, I'm gonna go ahead and film it. Yeah, for sure. Here, strange little signal. Kind of weird. I don't know what that is. It's uh, brass. Looks pretty old. Uh, it might be part of a buckle, like a suspender buckle or something, I guess. I like it. Okay, that's so why I just dug a little piece of uh, suspender buckle or whatever it was, and the large scent was right there. And I got another signal here. So I'll go ahead and film this one too, just in case. Here somewhere. There it is. A little bit deeper, but it's right next to that other buckle, so could be the other half of it. What we have is a percussion cap. That's what they put on the nipple of the musket to fire it and fulminate a mercury inside of it and cause a little explosion that went down into the through the nipple into the chamber and fired the musket. It's pretty neat. I'm still in the area where I found that uh, large scent and percussion cap and stuff and I've got another signal here pretty close and uh, it's very strange though. I'm not sure what it is. It wants to be good, but it's got a, like a little trilly thing on the end of it. I'll dig it up and find out. I think I see it right there. Yeah, it's a bullet. No, it's not. <laughs> no, I don't think that's a bullet, man. <laughs> no, where'd it go? There it is. Uh, yeah, that's a. Civil War uh, whiskey nip. I was hearing the lid right there. That's what I was hearing, but uh, yeah, obviously that's not very old. Oh well, it was a weird sound. Okay, I just dug my first button. I haven't looked at it yet. Um, what was in that hole right there, but there it is. Uh, you see that bad boy? I do suspect it's an eagle button though. Oh, I think it's a bad shape, man. Woo wee That's what it is though. Look, you can see the eagle on it. Right in the center is the shield, and the head's right above it. That's a Civil War eagle button, or general service button, worn by a Yankee soldier. All right, this is it for today. I got a bunch of junk, as you can see. Uh, a lot of wire here, a few shotgun shells, and just, you know, trash that I'll, I'll haul out of here. This is my good stuff. Uh, this is the half dime that I found. I think it's 1844. Uh, this is a large scent, you know, mid-1800s probably. I don't think I can be able to read a date off of that because it's pretty toasted. I've uh, got a bunch of these 69 caliber bullets, which are really neat because they're just so big. It's, was it? So that's one of the biggest bullets you can find from the Civil War. This is a little, uh, I'm not sure what that is. I think it might be a watch winder and some buckshot. 
This is a chunk of melted lead with a hole in the end. I think that maybe the soldiers were making a sinker out of that. At least that's the story I'm going to stick with anyway. So, But yeah, that's it for today. Good day. I really had a good time. Uh, I know there's a bunch more stuff out there. So, you know, we'll come back another day. Thanks for hanging out with me.